children's message. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. How is everybody? Look, come on up, have a seat on the rug. Hey, look, you know, I, usually I bring you an object, and today I brought you a really cool object, a very important one. And this is it, because this, yeah. Wow, you're really bright. This is the what? The Bible. Yeah, this is just a special, a special Bible, but, but the Bible is what we're going to talk about today. Always coming back here. Now, how many of you can read already? How many can read? Good. So a lot of you have like kids' Bibles. You can read those Bibles by yourself. How many of you still, your parents read to you? Even if you read, your parents probably still read to you, right? Yeah. So do your parents read the Bible? Well, we're going to, th- we're going to talk about reading the Bible today. But do you know what season it is in, in, uh, in uh, uh, Christian seasons? It just started Lent. And Lent, you know, is when Jesus went out into the, uh, went, went out into the desert for 40 days. But I want to tell you that Jesus was tempted. But you know what? You know what temptation is? Temptation is when you do something, when, you're in, when you think that you need to do something wrong, but, you do, but hopefully you don't go that far. Like, like, like what would be wrong? What would be something wrong? Like maybe if you were... Um, a Pittsburgh Steeler fan, and you should be a Bronco fan. <laughs> yeah, I know. Isn't that funny? Go ahead, Dallas. Still, you like somebody Good. Okay, so if you if you in your mind you say I want to hit that person, but you stop. You're tempted to hit, right? But you don't. It's, it's okay to be tempted. That's not a sin. But if you hit him, is that bad? Yeah, yeah that's bad. Well, let's go to the next slide here. Um, have you ever had homework and instead there was a good show on TV and the next day your teacher says, where's your homework? And you think, do I tell the truth or do I say my dog ate it? You're tempted, right? You're tempted to, to lie, but that would be bad, wouldn't it? Well, do you know, like we said before, Jesus was tempted here, after Jesus got baptized, the Holy Spirit took him into the desert and he stayed there for 40 days. And in 40 days, do you think he got hungry? Yes. Oh yeah, his tummy was rumbling. He, had, he was very, very hungry. And you know who came up to him to tempt him while he was hungry in the desert? The devil did. And this is what he said. The devil said, or, or here at the top, this is a scripture. He was there for 40 days and nights and he was very hungry. And the devil, it says the tempter, he came and he said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to turn into loaves of bread. Could Jesus turn a stone into a loaf of bread? Yeah, he could. He could. Do you think Jesus did it? Well, he was very hungry. Would you have done it? Oh, it's temptation. Well, you know what Jesus said to the devil? Jesus said to the devil, it is written. Well, where are things written? Right there. If you can't read, your parents will read to you. If you can read, it's right here. It says it's written. And you know what Jesus said it's written? That man won't live only by bread. They won't just have bread. But by every word of God. You know where the words of God are? Right there. So the devil said, I'm going to tempt you a second time. I'm going to take you to the top of the temple in Jerusalem. And, I'm going to, uh, and you're, you're going to be so hungry and so sad that you're going to jump off this temple. And God's going to send his angels down and swoop you up. Because you're God, Right? He just said, yes, the angels would suit me up. Did Jesus say to the devil, yeah, I'll jump and prove to you that, that God, that's going to happen. Did he do that? No. no, because the temptation was to jump, but he said, no, he did not jump. Uh, matter of fact, uh, he said, um, Jesus knew that it was wrong to test God. So he answered him by saying, it's written, do not put God to the test. Where did he get that? The right there. Okay, now third time. And this is the last time. Satan... Took the, de- the devil took Jesus up on a very high mountain and he showed him all the world and he said to Jesus, Jesus, all of this can be yours if you just bow down and worship me now. Did, was, did Jesus do that? No, you know what he said? Get away from me, Satan. He said, go away. He turned away from the temptation. Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Where was it written? Right here. Jesus in order to combat his temptation, kept going back to this book. Pretty cool, right? If you're tempted, where can you go? Right there to that book. Three times Jesus was tempted, and each time Jesus said to the devil, the scripture says that's not the way. The scriptures say this way. Now, hey, we're going to have some temptations in our life. Take a look right here. 
How about this? If you say something bad about something, somebody, that's gossip. The Bible says, don't bear false witness. Don't say something false about somebody else. Or here, if you're disobedient, maybe to your parents. The Bible actually tells you, obey your parents. Yeah, right there in the Ten Commandments. How about this? That's a robber, right? But you ever, you ever feel like taking something that doesn't belong to you? Maybe, sometimes. That doesn't, you might not think it's stealing, but yeah, but that's what that guy is. If you take something without permission, you're going against the Bible. It says, don't steal. And here's the last one. There's lots more. But you know that the Bible actually says your body is a temple? So would you be tempted to eat too much candy? Yeah. I eat the whole bar when I should only eat half or maybe three quarters because <laughs> I, I like chocolate. All right? So listen, remember that Jesus was tempted. Here's, here's Jesus. He's, the, he's the, represented by the angel. And, and Satan came up to him and said, um, I want you to do these things. What did, the, what did Jesus always say? No. No, that's right. No. So let's do the same thing and use the Bible, you know, to help us. All right? Bow your, eye, uh, bow your heads. Close your eyes. Let's pray for a second. Father, we're thankful for your holy word. Help us to read our Bible daily and hide its word in our heart so that we can resist temptation. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay.